How come we know the year a new P today? Them this, I will never call Baba Jide Songulu to congratulate him for this shambolic. And I just see person will just come out. Just say he won the contest for governorship as a candidate. And I say he won't vote. I know him, Papa. I know him, Mama. My name is Mrs. Rose Viver. I'm the mother of the uh, incoming governor. I would like to kiss these people from Lagos. The way to do it is to take power from them. Only you, Choma. Now you then they attack. Then go after you the presidential election, they attack you. Governor election, they attack you. Now only you. I mean, it feels good. You just to know that uh, people trust me. It's getting more way these days, guys. This election shows that things could actually move from internet to become a serious issue on the street. That we have to deal with it in our societies. Hi, you guys doing? Hope all is well. I know it has been a while. So today I'm going to give to you the highlight on what has been going on in Nigeria, especially legal state election. Now, guys, let's not forget the prophecy didn't stop about this election. Lagos election, remember, there was a lot of prophecies during the presidential election. Yeah, we know that the gubernatorial election, the prophecy that came out wasn't much, but we still got some on the table. Let's watch this video. Please remember to subscribe. As the Lord told me that Elijah Bala met the election, which happened, Shamul, by his grace, is winning tomorrow election with over 35 percent vote all we pray for is let him walk and make lagos best god bless you Ulumi day uru's name of labor party wasn't even on ballot in the just concluded state assembly election that held on saturday my guest today is looking to unseat the Surule constituency one legislator and actor Desmond Elliott. If elected, he will be the youngest legislator in the Lagos State House of Assembly. How does the title make you feel? Um, I mean, it feels good yeah, just to know that uh, people trust me. So what was Olumide doing? I'm just asking guys. He's busy campaigning for Labour Party. Why there is a dispute between the Labour Party? on who should be chosen to represent them in state house of assemblies in Lagos. I mean, there was serious legal case that wasn't resolved. This build up to the election. Now on the official declaration of results sheet for the constituency, it showed one a day by your body well, and not only me, me you know, to, to be in a position to represent them um, is, is a good feeling. I also believe that uh, we need to try new things, try new hands, and have a different approach to problem solving. You know, we are at a point now that we are ready to be a part of the political system. I'm very excited, I'm very optimistic as well that there will definitely be a change in the way um, things are politically um, if we do get into office. You said Suri Lira deserves an accessible leader. Is this one of the problems you see on ground? I think that's also a general problem with you know the Nigerian political space is we don't really have regular interactions with with our representatives with our leaders uh, once they get into office. Well, this one earlier to once to Rilire constituency with over ten thousand votes. Now I'm just thinking. So if Labour Labour Party had won after Olumide has spent money, a lot of money on campaign and all posters. Are you telling me that one a day by your body, whom nobody really knows would have been announced the winner? Some people even suspect that Urumide could have been put there by Desmond Elliott himself to distract and confuse Labour Party supporters. Now guys, the tribalism continues, especially in Lagos. The clash between the Yorubas and the Igbos. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm 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 going to say that I
na scan battery she need to. How come we do the year LUP today? <laughs> LUP 71. Well, nobody did shout today. What's going on? <laughs> now the results so far Dide Samolu is already jubilating before the final results As it stands in Lagos, according to report, APC got over 700,000 votes, Labour Party over 200,000 votes, PDP 59,000 votes, and Samolu clears 18 of 20 local governments, while GROV wins one, according to reports. Election this year, Tofu. In every clear term, this was a sham of an election. It was a compromise. It was an illegality that has not been perpetrated in Lagos since I've been born. This was an election where entire agents of a party were chased away from their polling units. This was an election where people were standing and if you came to vote and you were not Labour Party, they were beating you. I have had to pay the bill for over 12 people. One was in concussion, you just woke up today. One's leg is completely broken, he has to go into um, surgery. And I've been doing this this entire morning. I cannot even transfer money again because I'm done transferring just on hospital bills. So I condemn this. I will never call Babajide Sonwulu to congratulate him for this shambolic, this sham of an election, this violence that's literally setting a precedent for war in the next election, because nobody is going to come into elections believing that they will discuss ideas and issues anymore. Now, some people reject this result. They claim he only got this number because he talk weak the election. And even GROV mother spoke about this. My name is Mrs. Rose Vivo. I'm the mother of the uh, incoming governor. What's your experience so far? My experience is, is, is not, nothing to write home about. People are buying votes openly. How can you vote and you show who you are voting for? And the APC person is capturing you to go and give you money. Is that the society we are, we are trying to, to change? What are the saying about they are not saying anything. Even the police are not saying They are watching and they are not doing anything. My name is Mrs. Rhodes Viva, the mother of Badebo. Why others say is most of the video posted online just a way to make it seems that the election wasn't free and fair. A lady even called Ashoma Akbota. Everywhere is at peace, so oh. everywhere is at peace. We are here in Abramadesa. Yeah. Can you see? Can you see everywhere? That is at peace. Now only Choma then they attack. Only you Choma. Now you then they attack. Then go attack you. The presidential election, they attack you. Governor election, they attack you. Now only you. Now only you the Lagos. Now only you the island. Which I will see you they do. Because you be public figure, you be celebrity. You shall want to destroy everything. I got calm down with my father. Now only you then they attack. Put your hand on you. Put your hand on you. Must you post? You shall want to call everybody attention. No cause waiting, no go feel all you. Everywhere is at peace. See, I don't enter VGC because of you. I don't dare Brahma I see, everywhere is at peace. No fight, no war. Now only you. Then they attack your man. And Dayo Amusa, the Yoruba actress, sent a message to the Igbos. She said, if only the Igbos know how many people they killed online because of this election. And she continued, you know better than the talks on the streets. She reacted to the report about Labour Party supporters, all Igbos being flogged on the streets. And singer Terry G got this to say. Listen I carefully. Now. I don't mind. I don't understand. For this governorship election, like honestly, guys, okay, when I'm not supposed to say that someone will go win. 
Yeah. And I don't see person will just come out. Just say he won the contest for governorship as a candidate. And I say if you want vote, you know, I know him, Papa, you know him, Mama. Person with the we don't do things, we don't run things, we we don't see. At least we've seen it. A few, even if not all of what he has done. Nobody can be perfect. You understand? Someone will know they talk the bad side. Everybody get bad side, just like I do. But honestly, trust me, if you put this person and that person and look results, you go pick up. A madman is talking, trust me, but a madman, yes sir. Now, one Bella on Instagram said that the Igbo should stop saying Lagos is no man's land. They accommodate Una for Lagos. No me say make Una the talk rubbish now. Waiting Una no fee try for not. Igbo's come the vote like weary for Lagos. Just make Chine do win. I beg them not the vote for their state too. We got some comments here. Aki Akonde said that whether you agree that Tinubu wins Lagos or not, Tinubu is 100% Yoruba. Lagos is Yoruba, not Ibu's land. As the history of Bini City itself, you will know that Bini City is originally Yoruba. So forget about claiming heritage that doesn't belong to you. Forget about creating problem for yourself. Some that is the advice for you to stay in peace, dead, You should not write them and they should not even be in your mind. Same things like, go back to where you're from, this is not your land, oh my boy, oh my boy. stop it, stop it. You're slowly creating hate in the minds of people, you're slowly building a tribal class that even you yourself cannot handle. And it's going to trickle down into everything. If you don't know the effects of these things, go and read. It's going to trickle down into marriages, into communal living. People are going to start to have selfish interest, into employment, into admissions, and it's going to affect everybody you're saying it now because it benefits you until these people start to retaliate you're a black person you go to another country you demand fairness but in your own country you can't treat other people fairly and let me tell you something these people you are making bold statements for if anything happens they will jack back and leave you to face the consequences stop spewing hate in the minds of people stop it stop making tribalistic statements we are one nigeria and stop fueling it in the minds of people thank you Look, he can said here, there is no unity in Nigeria and we should not deceive ourselves. It is not happening anytime soon. If it's ever going to happen, we got here, Raya Babe. I am a Yoruba girl with state of origin, Lagos State. What happened in Lagos State yesterday is utterly disgusting and unacceptable. If Nigeria and Nick accept that as a lesson, they must be joking. We also got Leo, Layo Ajayi. I would like to ask a question. How many negative incidents should occur before we consider the election a failure? Would anyone consider Lagos election free and fair? So Yoruba has even said that this statement has put Yoruba on their feet to defend their territory. They can no longer have anywhere to stand. They will have to run from Lagos. Don't you want to chase them? Please, I would like to chase these people from Lagos. The way to do it is to take power from them. They will have no place to hide. There will be no under bridge for them. All those uh, yeah, yeah, traditional rulers that are using thugs up and down. Now, in Abia State, they report that one Honorable Chinaza Abiola of the Labour Party, a Yoruba man, has been elected to represent Umaya Central Constituency at the Abia State House of Assemblies. And Honorable Chinaza reacted to it himself. The news about that. He said Ab Abiola attached to his name is just a guy name, according to him. Actually, his name in the INEC register does not have Abiola. It was his opponent that did the Abiola poster and posted it on social media so that they won't vote for him. Here is his opponent trying to play the tribalism card and they believe if the Igbo saw that, they wouldn't vote for him. Where well, he finally won enemies. My name, my name is something I enjoy. I'm not a Yoruba man and I don't have any misbreed at all. I'm a typical Igbo man. I'm an Ibeku man. 
but I am, uh, my opponent think they want to strike me with the Yoruba name. And when it goes viral, I began to enjoy it. Because the, why I'm, the reason why I'm enjoying it is this, is making way for my friend who is contesting governor in Lagos State. So, it's writing a history for me. So for me, I don't need to start debunking it. But I'm a full-fledged Igbo man, a full-fledged Igbo man. Mother, father, Igbo. I'm not a Yoruba man. A Yoruba in my name is a guy named... Governor Sheyi Makinde wins Oyo State with over 500,000 votes. This is a very, very serious election as you see Igbo's Yoruba trending on Twitter. We have some comments here. Otto Sumandina says, Those of you finding tribal wars in Nigeria, I hope you're ready for what is coming. Currently happening at Abule Adulegos between the Igbo's and Yoruba's. Please, our security agency should act quickly before it escalates. Another one said, As a single Igbo person, if you are in love or plan to be in love with a non Igbo, look around and pinch yourself back to reality. Igbo should marry Igbo. Don't bring up the Anabra Imo binary. Okay, guys, that is where I'm going to leave you for now. God bless you. Because what it's about is about who is the most violent. They did not prevent voting. They did not prevent voting. That's what he said. That, that, is, that, is, that is a big lie. It is a big lie. I thank the army. I thank